Hello everybody. So yesterday I posted a video on the last Airbender subreddit of me doing a guitar cover of the, uh, f well, yeah, the finale song um, for the TV show Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, the song's called The Avatar's Love. And um, I had a few requests. People, people asked for tabs and um, I, I mentioned, I don't have any tabs, I learned it by ear. But I mentioned that I could do a uh, how-to video, and that's what this is going to be. Um, now, before I get started, I just want to say that what I posted yesterday was the result of me piecing together a bunch of um, different, little different clips of me playing. Um, you know, there there are times in which it sounds like there are multiple guitars playing, and that's because there are. So. Uh, what I play, what I show you how to play today, it'll, it'll still sound good, it'll, you know, it's gonna sound like the song, but it's not gonna have all the different layers and textures that, um, the cover I posted yesterday will have. So, I apologize for that, but I mean, there's not really much I can do. Uh, so, I'm gonna get things started, uh, by playing the song in its entirety for you guys. So, here we go. So as I'm sure you can tell, that uh, you know didn't sound quite as complete as what I posted yesterday, but um, I did the best I could making it so you could play it just by yourself at one time. So first of all, the song is in D, so you want to take your bottom string, your low E string, and tune it down so it would regularly be E, but you want to tune it down a whole step to D. All right, and so the little opening section, the little marimba section or xylophone or whatever, starts on the fifth fret of the second string. It's an octave up from the low D. So you put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the second string, your index finger on the fourth fret of the third string, and your ring finger on the sixth fret, sixth fret of the fourth string, making a D major seven chord. All right, so you just say, and, and, I'm, and I'm plucking these with my thumb, middle, and uh, index finger. And then moving right on up, you play the seventh fret of the second string with your ring finger. Use your middle finger to play the fifth fret of the third string, and your pinky to play the seventh fret of the fourth string. All right, so let's piece those two together. Third one, use your pinky, this one's a little bit different, use your pinky to play the ninth fret of the second string, and then you're going to lay your index finger down so it's covering the 7th fret, fret of the 3rd, 4th, and 5th string. So the index finger plays all three strings and your pinky is playing the bass. And play it so, and then play these last two notes together. And then the last section, move your pinky up one fret to the 10th fret 
Keep your index finger down. Don't move your index finger for these last two. And then use your ring finger to play the ninth fret of the third string. It's like it's a C position chord here. So uh, you have 10th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret. Just like if you were playing C down here, but it's way up here. Alright? And at the very end, you just pick up your middle finger to make that a major 7 chord. Um, that's a G major 7 chord at the end there, I think. Maybe not. Don't quote me on that. So let's do all that together. Uh, you know, I'm going to play it slow. Try to play it with me. If you don't have it yet, you know, rewind the video. Watch it again. Try to get it. And then we're going to go into the theme. And to do that, it's just like you were playing D regular. That's D, right? Except, you're going to take your index finger and lay it down so it covers the second fret of the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. And then use your middle finger to make that a D, D chord. So, to begin, this is going to be a little bit of finger plucking. You're going to pluck the bottom D string and the fifth string, that's octave Ds, at the same time. And do the, do, to do the little melody, all you're doing is lifting your middle finger up and then letting the index finger do the work. And then plucking the... Uh, be the fourth string and then using your ring finger to play the fourth fret of the third string all right I'll show you the uh, hands for that so that's the melody and you do that a couple times And the second time you do it, instead of plucking the low D string, you're going to pluck the A string instead. Alright, then we're going to go into the key of G. And so normally you would play G on the 3rd fret, but since we tuned the string down, you got to move it up to the 5th fret. And you can't really play it like that, it would be really awkward. So, what we're going to do instead is use your um, ring finger on the 5th fret and then pluck the 4th uh, string at the same time, that's two octave Gs together, and then to do the little melody, you um, so play the G's together, and then using your middle finger, play the fourth fret of the third string. So that's a half step down. And then, and that fourth note is just the third string open. That's an open B. No, wait, that's not a B, that's a D. Do that last part. Take, move your finger off the fifth fret, and uh, use your uh, index finger to play the B, which is the second string or the second fret of the second string. Move it. And just play the rhythm like I just told you. Those two, the first two strings are open. All right. Do that again. I do. And that's the same thing, just sixteenth notes. All right. So once you have that down, 
So we'll, 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 let's start from the melody, back to the D. Remember to put your index finger down. So try to play it with me. melody again, except this time, you hear that change in the bass? Bum, bum, bum. Maybe I can't sing in tune, but um, that's just doing the octave, the same thing, and then when you go, when you hit that note, that would be a A, octave A. So don't go back to the D, instead play the F sharp, which is the fourth fret of the third string. And then for the, the last part, put your pinky down, this is going to be kind of hard, put your pinky down on the fourth fret of the second string. Alright, so it's going to sound bad, those two notes together, but in the song, it sounds good. Okay. So let's start from the second time through the melody again. Try to follow along. And then it's back to the G. And we're going to play the final melody, or the final part of the melody. Excuse me. just playing the fifth fret, the G, and the, uh, the G above that, the uh, fourth string, and then the fourth fret of the third string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, fifth string, it's the open E, let's try to play that. For the little bum ba bum bum ba bum bum ba bum, that's uh, the the fifth and strict sixth string with your index finger down on, ooh, excuse me, on the um, second fret of the top string. That's a perfect fifth interval, and make sure that's in tune because if it's not in tune, it's going to sound really bad. So here we go. So that's just two open two five 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 two op <laughs> open two two. And then they're gonna go in for the kiss, and you go back to G, and that's playing the fifth string, skip the or the sixth string, excuse me, the fifth fret of the sixth string, the G. Skip that next string, just kind of use your uh, ring finger to mute it, and then play the next three strings together. And then we're going to try to do the melody at the same time. So that's a G to a B minor. So remember how to do B minor. Uh, you know, if you don't know how to do that, look it up. It's basically A minor, moved up a fret. And remember to throw the melody in there. Shift up to where your pinky is on the fifth fret. And this is an F minor chord. And um, when you're starting to play bar chords, when you have uh, drop D tuning, it gets a little weird. Because if you just play them regular, it sounds weird. Because the bass note's too low. So you have to compensate. So in this case, when we're playing F minor, we have to instead of the bass being the second fret, the bass <clears throat> is gonna be the fourth fret instead. So you're gonna use your middle finger to on the fourth fret, and then uh, your ring finger on the fourth fret, pinky on the fourth fret,
and then you're going to bar the second fret on the top three strings with your index finger. So it's just like if you were playing F minor regular, but you you move your you move the bass up two frets. So starting from the kiss. Okay, and then we're gonna go up to G, and this the G chord, and this is gonna be kind of weird, all right? So if you're playing G in the E position, it's just E on the third fret. But again, that bass, that bass is gonna kill you. You can't do it like that. So this is where it gets kind of tricky. You're gonna take your thumb and put your thumb on the fifth fret, wrap it over there, and then use your middle finger, or no, your ring finger fifth fret, pinky fifth fret. Use your, uh, what is that? Middle finger to do the third of the chord, the B. And then bar the top, the top two strings on the third fret. So just like if you were doing G regular, and now your thumb is providing the bass. And if you can't, if you can't bar all the way up to that top string, don't worry about it. Just make sure you get them all. And then just move that up two frets to the A. And then we go. So let so let's uh, let's start from the kiss again. final theme, which is the, or the final statement, I guess, which is the uh, seventh string, seventh fret on the top two strings. You should make a fourth like that and use your ring finger and your pinky finger. And then go down to the fifth, fifth fret on the top string with your index finger. And to do that little last part, you're gonna put your middle finger down on the seventh fret of the third string. That's gonna add a nice third of the chord in there. So you play the D, the low D string open. Thir uh, the third, which is the seventh on the third string. And then just that same note that you started out with. All right, and that's, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna Let's play through the whole thing really slow, and then I'll play through it again at regular speed, and that'll be it. So uh, if this was confusing, or if there's a part that you want me to go more in depth on, you know, please let me know. Uh, I, you know, I, it, it's hard. I've never done anything like this before, so if it was hard to follow along with, you know, that's no big deal. I understand. So let's, let's start from the beginning. if I make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. slow down there, I didn't mention that. I guess that wasn't really slow. <laughs> um, that's about it. That's the Avatar's Love on guitar. Uh, so thank you guys if you managed to stick through me for these 19 and a half minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, please feel free to leave comments or suggestions. You know, if this video just completely sucked, let me know. That's fine. I can, you know, I can handle criticism. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, 
see you around. Maybe I'll make some more covers. I don't know.